words are obsession, you know, rejection, you know. I, th I took graffiti so deep and so seriously. Then I understood that graffiti, the origins of New York, was to get your name famous. So then I was like, Dural 3. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, okay. So then I put that into each mural, like, you know, like here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's more you, you fragment and screw up the style, mm -hmm. stuff like that. That's what graffiti is all about. Pretty much every single one of my friends, except for me, was on steroids. Because uh, one of my best friends, his older brother was the, the biggest steroid dealer in, um, in Scarborough. I would ask them, like, why are you doing it? And they're like, for girls, you know, uh, have testicles about this big, pointy nipples, zits on their back, uh, no liver, you see what I'm saying? Uh, so, I mean, th that was their type of escape. A lot of my friends are pretty much alcoholics. I've never drank liquor, I've never smoked cigarettes, I've never done anything. Uh, if anything, I've probably sniffed spray paint a million times. art form. I mean, if you if you look at all the walls around here for this event, they're very nice. They're beautiful. People have taken time on it. And yep. It's not really vandalism. No. Compared to what was here before, it was, yeah. there was nothing. What was here before was vandalism. When you can't even rely on other people, you have to believe in trust and believe in relationships. And that's a hard one to figure out, you know, when someone's your friend and when someone is um, more like an accomplice, you know what I mean? If you are with me, you're with me. If you're not, I'm, you're not. 